I don't really know how to start this video besides informing you guys that I have not been sleeping at night at all lately. And it's not because of financial issues or like heartbreaks or just me having a midlife crisis. It's because recently there was a Snapchat ad you guys remember Snapchat, right? And I don't know if you, they targeted you in this ad campaign of theirs, this nightmare inducing ad campaign where you see this redhead girl sitting on the subway and then all of a sudden you go into this magical psychedelic world. And like, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure the whole point of ads is to people to then talk about it later on for free like I'm doing right now. So I'm actually advertising Snapchat for the free. And this is probably their main intent right here. It's for people to do exactly what I'm doing, but I YouTube the other people I've talked about this video and they have not. While the ad is sitting at over 20 million views, you know, so it's like, how can people not talk about this? It costs nothing to upload onto YouTube and nobody has made a video about this. Am I once again gonna be the only person in the world out of 7 billion to talk about a specific topic? I guess I am. So here we are, Snapchat made this ad. So usually when you make a YouTube video, you have to make sure that the topic is not dead. So in case you guys forgot what Snapchat is, I'm gonna take you guys back to 2016 when Snapchat was still a brand new thing kind of thing, right? And you could you could get popular by just bullying teenagers on the internet back then. And at the time, every YouTuber on this platform had two channels. They had their main channel, which would would be the reason why you would subscribe to them. It would be where all their uh, main videos would be because people took this very seriously, this platform where anybody can just upload to as a serious art form. 2016 was a really good time. And then, because you know they were so popular, they would also have a vlog channel. Now, 2016 was also the year that I got a little bit of fans, right? So I didn't want to work too hard. Working just wasn't my thing. I'm a, I'm a work smarter type of guy not a work harder type of guy, but it doesn't matter. Life is still gonna make you work hard no matter what you do, kids. That's that's a promise. So when Snapchat rolled around, I was following this girl named Yes Jules, and she would literally vlog everything that she does on Snapchat. So my high IQ brain was all like, wait a minute. So you mean to tell me if I just tell people to follow me on Snapchat after they subscribe to me on YouTube, then I wouldn't have to do a vlog channel whatsoever because I can just Snapchat what I'm doing in my everyday life? Count me in. So I went ham, okay? I started shouting out Snapchat like, no tomorrow. And I also wanna leave you guys on a very positive note. And that positive note was that I actually have a Snapchat. Who would have ever guessed? You know who doesn't follow me on Snapchat? Losers and so don't be a loser or follow me on Snapchat. Be like these people right here. A lot of people have already followed me on Snapchat, not being losers or So these people over here that I'm showing you, man, they're laughing at you because you don't, you know, follow me on Snapchat. And do I regret doing that? Absolutely, because nobody uses Snapchat anymore. It's done. Not sure if you guys heard, but like, Apple changed their algorithm, and ever since then, huh, huh, look at the stock. They massacred the boy. This is crazy. So you can just imagine when they made this recent ad, the responsibility that they had. Like they were in charge to revive this dead app. And in the process, they made probably one of the best ads of all time. Like kudos to you guys. This is actually pretty cool what you guys did here. So, so if you haven't seen the ad, let's watch it together. Our eyes can only see so much, but what if they could see more? What if you could see the world in a more interesting way? You could finally work with horses. You love horses. Or what if rather than using your mind's eye, you could see things with your eye's mind? Things like- All right, I'm stretching. I'm stretching right now. I might get a cramp from this big ass stretch, but what if they invented self-correcting AR technology thing? Because that's what they're advertising right here. They're advertising AR technology saying things like, if you work in an office, but you want everybody in your office to have a horse face instead, you could, and there's nothing they could do about it. So what about an AI that corrects people's speech? So they can be saying the most god awful stuff, or they could just be boring at speaking, but because you got this filter on, it then goes through this processing AI, and then compresses and sends out a cool version of what they would say. Like, because my problem, my problem is that some people give me, they, they, they tell me things and I'm just like. But if you would have told me the same thing, but in a cooler way.
It'll make my life just that much a little bit better. So I get what they're trying to pitch here. I could also see if you're like a hardcore or conservative, why this would be terrifying to you. I, 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 I get that argument as well. Maybe I'm just more farther down my spiritual journey, but guys, this is inevitable. I don't know, a virtual wardrobe. Oh, I like the yellow. You could make imaginary friends real or see your real friends in a more imaginary way. Because when you start to see the things you love in a whole new way, you start to want to share them with the world. With me? Well, maybe not the whole world. Oh, right, right, okay. And weirdly enough, that helps us all see ourselves and each other just a little more clearly. The floor is beans. So, so much can be said about that ad, right? Especially that last filter that they showed. Because they're zooming out while they're staring at you with that glare. This lady right here could have her own spin-off. Like she looks like a real demon. Horror movies could be inspired by this lady. And tonight before going to bed, I might have to look under my bed just to make sure she's not there. There's a bunch of like QR codes in that ad, which makes it like a cool little Easter egg. So you might have to watch it more than once so that you can scan them so you can get all the filters that they talked about in the ad, which is a genius way to get people to engrave the ad more and more in their brain. So obviously the team behind this was on an acid trip, right? When I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom, I'm gonna have to look over the shower curtains just to make sure. Can you actually imagine getting on a train and everybody stares at you like this? That's the same day you would get stabbed. There's no way you're not getting stabbed if everyone's looking at you like that. So I don't know about you guys, but I scanned that code that unlocks that nightmare inducing stare and this is what I look like. I would like to call this don't talk to me until I have my morning coffee. You know, during the dark times of 2020, and even before that, I used to think that Snapchat was trying to get bought out by Apple. And listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, my thesis makes complete sense. The whole app is designed around Apple phones. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but there used to even be a time where you would get bullied if you uploaded on an Android phone onto Snapchat because the quality just wouldn't be there. They would always brag about how they have all of these extra megapixels, yet every picture still looked like it was taken on a potato. And we were all cooped up inside and we couldn't go outside. I remember watching the Snapchat keynote back in 2020 and they had this girl on there that just walked on stage and her hair was blonde or brown, but then it turned pink or purple. And I just remember losing my mind. Because I remember reading a little bit before that that Apple is actually working on these glasses that are gonna do exactly that. And the CEO of Snapchat is a wannabe Steve Jobs. Listen, how many more signs do we need that they're asking Apple to buy them? And maybe Apple is gonna buy them because Apple is currently stepping on their neck, making them bleed, asking for air. And then once they're about to go bankrupt, Apple's gonna swoop right in and buy them for pennies on a dollar. And they wouldn't have to change a single thing, the app fits right in. Also, they would take that AR tech that they developed and add it to their glasses. And Apple currently does not have a social media arm whatsoever. It seems to me like a no brainer. This is obviously what's gonna happen the second that Snapchat is gonna declare for bankruptcy, Apple's gonna swoop right in and buy them up. And I mean, it just seems to me like that's what's gonna happen if we read between the lines, but you know, it might not happen. It might never happen. But if it does happen, I need you to come back to this video and leave a comment down below saying, young Nostradamus, is me. I scavenged all over the internet to see who made these ads, like who was the team responsible for making it, and I couldn't find a single thing. So if anybody knows the people that worked on it, could you please like DM me them? Because I would like to just follow them so I can see what they're going to do in the future. I'm a big fan. I hope this video was entertaining. Don't forget to give me a big old like so that it spreads in the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you that uh, don't know, I recently released my very first song. Scary. <laughs> I'm so goddamn bored in life that I decided to take a pop punk and to add comedy to it. It's called Toxic Masculinity. It's pretty much a diss song about the hustle culture and it's a pop punk song, but it's also a comedy song at the same time. I'm about $500 into the whole project. It's mastered. It sounds like it was recorded in a professional studio. The beats are fantastic. 
Um, and yeah, I've been dropping bank on this, honestly. So I'd like to make some of my money back. So when you're done watching this video, maybe, maybe go and listen to my brand new single if you want to. If not, just please don't forget to like this video and maybe share this video with a friend that might find it interesting. Honestly, every view helps. I really do mean that, so please. I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna be making a lot of these so I can recoup my money for the song. So in a way, enjoy getting entertained.